this is the outcast uh, today well first of all sorry for the long hiatus things have been mm, hectic to put it mildly um, I won't go into details but uh, I'm gonna try to be a little more uh, frequent than I have been um, sounds like somebody did something on Facebook anyway um, Got something special today. This is called Battle for Soul, uh, formerly known as Soul Exodus. It's sort of... The developers aren't calling it a remake, but it's pretty much the same story. There are some things uh, I've already noticed that were different. There's, there's missions that I don't remember from playing before and that sort of thing. Um, but... Uh, it's a well you'll see pretty quickly but it's it's they've updated the graphics they've updated the game engine they've um, improved a lot of things where soul exodus was a little lackluster on they've improved here so um, i figured i'd give it a try um let's see where we go so let's uh, get started Oh yeah, I gotta res restart the... Okay. By the year 2500, Earth had become toxic and unsafe for human life. Centuries of war, pollution, and overpopulation had ravaged our home. Undaunted, we took to the stars and populated our solar system. But fighting continued in this new frontier. Then we learned our sun was dying, and everything changed. Chaos and despair descended on the colonies. From the broken pieces of this world, the United Colonies of Seoul was born. The last hope for humanity. They ventured into the void, looking for a new home. Years turned into decades. There was no discovery. No miracle, no hope, only silence. Millions turned to faith as they prepared to meet the end of existence. Order was restored by any means necessary. It seemed that the last chapter of humanity had been written. But far beyond the edges of our solar system, a discovery was made. Lieutenant Williams? Or do I have time to beat Cassie in another game of chess? I would remind you, Commander David, that you have my current skill level set at novice. That's because you cheat. Sorry, sir. Uh, these new Hades take longer to go through pre-flight inspection than I thought. Never trash your ground crew, Lieutenant. Those guys have a million ways to screw you over. Okay, so, uh, like I was there saying... There she is. You know this is the 41st planet we've checked out in four years? Uh, 42nd, sir, in five years. Time flies, Lieutenant. Any word from the ground team, Cassie? Negative, Commander. Well, take Lieutenant Williams here through his check flight qualifications while I, well, patrol the fleet. Lieutenant Williams, please decrease your thrust. Lieutenant Williams, please increase your thrust. Thank you. Please lock your targeting system onto Commander David's spacecraft. Now, please pilot your spacecraft towards Commander David's position. Oh, I don't have afterburners yet. That sucks. When targeted, you may match a spacecraft's flight speed by activating your automated thrust control system. Well done. 
Please deactivate the automated thrust control and proceed to the waypoint. You sure this ring knocker is ready, David? Lieutenant, meet Tin Fallen Holland. Tin earned his nickname drinking OC's drives from outer Mercury to Delta Pavonis. But there's no one else I'd rather have at the helm of the Cronus during a furball than Jin. Yeah, so this is basically a space dogfight mission. Please engage your military thrusters en route to the next waypoint. Tell me where it is. There. Be aware of your mill thrusters' limitations. Your spacecraft can sustain military speed thrust for only short periods before the system's energy is depleted and must recharge. You may increase the rate at which your mill thrusters replenish themselves. This will come at the expense of the rate of replenishment of your cannon subsystems, however. basically a dog fighting game. Um, there are certain things that I personally like better. Oh, come on, recharge. So this is actually pretty useful in some Your missions. Your spacecraft can um, reorient itself automatically. Please do so now. Well done. Please disengage slide. The Hades targeting system can be used to locate friendly spacecraft. Please do so now. So target the Atlas. Like there's uh, missions where you have to take on capital ships and you have to hit specific targets on the ships. So, and they're kind of, you know, hard to hit dead on so I can just slide and just strafe it's basically strafing but it is nice because that that's you know thank you basically uh, what do you think lieutenant I'll admit my slide was a little clumsy but the rest of my I was referring to the planet we're eyeballing I uh I have a good feeling about it sir it reminds me of those old images of Earth, back when it was unspoiled. It looks like home. Won't stay unspoiled for long. Not if the human race gets our hands on it. Speaking of, anything from the ground, Cassie? <laughs> Storms on the planet's surface are prohibiting contact, Commander. Let's bring her back to the Atlas, Lieutenant. We'll get to the rest of your check flight after some rest. Hope that good feeling of yours lasts. Um, it doesn't get all of the physics right. Um, I mean, for one thing, if it did, all of these vessels would be in orbit, and it takes a lot of control and precision to be able to maneuver around objects in orbit um, accurately and efficiently. I mean, the way I was moving around. How am I... There's like nothing to do. I don't get it. Whatever. Um, what was I saying? Anyway, there's a, uh, a guy called S uh, Scott Manley did a, a video. Um, he was he used Kerbal Space Program to demonstrate it. But basically, the dog fighting, like as as we see it here, wouldn't work all that well. Um, there are some deep space missions where it would probably work a little bit better, but even that's 
still um, because of the the inherent nature of trying to navigate in zero gravity as well as um, no atmosphere there's complications um, that's actually one of the things I like about the slide feature because the slide would be really useful in, in, in space combat welcome lieutenant Williams so please think, proceed to the waypoint I think this one will be finally going to shoot something I hope Lieutenant. Yes, sir. I was, um, the, uh, yeah. Sorry. So, what's next? I want you to attack one of our ships. Sir, is this because I was late again? Because I didn't... Lieutenant Williams, please target and destroy the training fodder provided for you using your missiles. Lieutenant. Lieutenant Williams, please target and destroy the training fodder provided for you using your cannons. Lieutenant Williams, meet Lieutenant Fan. Fans call sign as front guard. You know, like the flea deterrent they sell for dogs. Seeing as how he's always tip of the spear and never flees from a fight, <laughs> we thought it pretty clever. Uh, at least at the time. Sort of a <laughs> Front guard adheres to the old religion. Ain't that right? Religion? I am not a polytheist. See, he had his pick of any religion. And he chose one that doesn't let you drink or screw around. Now, what does that say? That I am also not a pig like you. Enough of the B Corps stuff, Cassie. Lieutenant, we've got bandits in rage. Save us. Save us all. <laughs> Just try not to fret yourself. systems to restore your hull's integrity. Please do so now. Commander, I have received a signal from the ground team. Pancake! We were starting to think you blackboxed on us again. Fuck you, Holland. Ha <laughs> ha. Always good to hear your voice, Lieutenant. When are the white coats coming back? They're not. Come again? The storms are an issue, but apparently there's enough gravity here to support an atmosphere. There's water here, too. It's frozen, but the hydrologists are telling me it can be harvested, and most of the geoengineers agree that the soil can be enriched. 
It's a fixer upper, but they all think this shithole can work, Commander. Oh, if you were here right now, Pengowitz, I'd kiss you. If I were there, I might even love this model. We're going home! No. This is our home. New Earth. Ugh, we're naming it New Earth? We can't think of something better than that. It was a United Colonies decision, okay? Trust me, you should have seen the rest of the names on the list. First couple of missions, and I'll do one more, are pretty um, basic. Um, essentially tutorial missions. I heard you the first time, Cassie. Try again. Again? Long-range communication systems are fully functional. Again, I have received no incoming signals from either General Shapiro or the United Colonies Central Command. Doesn't make any sense. Keep trying. Lieutenant, let's take patrol. I love smart-ass AIs. <laughs> yeah, so these first, first few missions are just basic tutorial um, you know the first one was learning how to move around the second Follow one was learning here. how to fight they sent us to the farthest reaches of known space to find a planet capable of and saving then, the human uh, race from extinction after years of frustration we finally this one find will something be, and they can't be bothered uh, to return our red call it's fighting nobody, in a group sir. it's been a long time maybe they're trying to verify who we are Better than anything I've come up with. Cassie, how about some of the other outer colonies? Hestia? Negative, Commander. Outgoing emergency signals have not been received, and we are receiving no incoming transmissions at this time. Unidentified fighter class ships are Here we range. Go. Registration. The spacecraft bear no registration to any sovereign state or colony and are refusing. Warning! We are under attack. Wave the red flag, Cassie. I want every Hades pilot out here double time. All Hades pilots to their spacecraft for immediate launch. This is not an exercise. Repeat. All Hades pilots to their spacecraft for immediate launch. This is not an exercise. distress calls on a secure UCS channel, and we will find you. Hades Squadron, as soon as the last transport bolts, I want every jock docked so we can follow them out. Attention, Get all her. fighter fighters. She has more kills than any of you. Bullshit. He's been bagging every meatball out here while the 
rest of us are tied up with knife fights. Transport Delta has vaulted out of range. They're gone. There will be another wave, though. <clears throat> this is where it gets exciting. Epsilon so long. Commander, our fault drives just went offline. Well, get them back online, now! Commander, an invasive oversight operation has shut down the Epsilon's vault drives. Invasive oversight? What the hell does that mean? An outside party has commandeered the ship's systems and rendered the Epsilon's drive systems inoperative. Tell me you can bring them back online, Cassie. I can bring them back online, Commander. Estimated time to renewal, two minutes. This is another really short one, so we'll grab this one too. <clears throat> this one's just gonna have basically a bunch of dialogue. What the fuck? Where's the Prometheus? Where's the Gaia? Where's our fucking transports? Ah, I'm out of go pills. Anyone got one for me? So soon. Back off, front guard. I'm on my third shift. Cassie, where's the commander? Commander David docked with the Gaia. Its whereabouts are unknown at this time. Searching now. They are scrambling our navigation systems, as they did with the vault drives on the Epsilon. Oh, shit. The commander got caught with his pants down by some freebooters. Freebooters don't destroy transports. They steal them. Warning. Enemy fighter class. 
Our ships have vaulted in range. Oh, fuck me, they found us! Just lost a turret. the Atlas. Oh, they're setting us up for something. Warning, the Atlas has lost two turrets. Warning, the Atlas has lost three turrets. Damn it. Warning, an invasive oversight operation has shut down the drive systems on the Atlas. Renewing drive systems now. I didn't have this much trouble when I was playing last night, and I was sleep deprived then. <sighs> come on, come on. Warning, yes! Frigate class warships in range. Okay. Now this is basically just missile defense, so... missiles in our sights. Our birds are the only way out of here. Who the hell are you to give us orders, Nugget? Cassie, we need to get moving again. Thank you for your helpful suggestion, Lieutenant. I am facing more aggressive countermeasures than estimated. Warning, missiles inbound towards the Atlas.
inbound towards the Atlas. Vault drive systems are online. Bring it back to home plate, pilots. Let's get the hell out. Soul, which, like I said, is I don't know a remake, an update, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Battle for Soul. Uh, it's a pretty cool game, I think. Uh, it's on Steam. Uh, it was in the summer sale. I think the sale's over though, so it might be back up to full price, which I'm not sure off the top of my head what it is. I think it's like. 25 bucks or something like that. Um, but I do think it's worth it. So, um, and that's it. Uh, see you next time.